Hello everybody, I am Sunny, your North Country Knitter, and welcome to today's episode, which is 71, maybe? <laughs> I forgot to check. Uh, welcome, welcome. Today is December 17th, 2021, and it's kind of a dark, windy, blustery day out, so I'm working with the lamp here, so hopefully it comes across okay. Uh, we're gonna see if I get interrupted or not. My uh, middle girl doesn't have school today, so they're both off watching Moana just on the other side of this wall, so I can hear them pretty good, but sometimes they like to come in. Welcome, welcome to today's little episode where I, um, I'm gonna show you some finished objects. This is my mostly weekly uh, podcast where I like to show you the yarns I'm working with, projects I'm working on, finished objects, acquisitions, uh, that sort of thing. I also have a couple like mystery bag un bagging, unboxing, as well as uh, some yarn reviews. I've already got one outside the window or outside the door. Just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Uh, literally, she wanted nothing. Just knocking on the door saying hi oh, kids anyway <laughs> welcome welcome I do have a couple finished objects to work on um, some whips that I have made some progress on some acquisitions oh but I forgot one of them that's okay and uh, yeah that's about it so we'll start with what I have finished this is like 99.9% .9 finished. I had to do the duplicate stitch on it and I really, I don't like duplicate stitching, but I got this Christmas stocking done. Um, everyone says it looks great and they love it. I'm not super uh, happy with it. I am, I'm proud I did it, but I didn't, this always stands out to me how wrinkly it is because um, they were pulled kind of tightly and my cat just scratched me so I have a little bit of blood there <laughs> sorry um but also all right so this is mine my grandmother-in-law made me this I'm going to show you how much larger <laughs> my youngest ones came out like so much bigger and I don't know why and so much stretchier I don't know if she had gotten down in needle size when she made hers because I feel like I used the recommended needle size. Um, but mine is much larger and much stretchier. So there's a bit of a difference color wise as well. I had these packed away um, when I ordered the yarn. I thought it was a softer red, but obviously it is a bright red. So I had purchased this, this darker um, color when I should have gotten the brighter color. Oh well. Nobody's going to mind but me. So that is that. This is my husband's. This is, he got this like way back in, I don't know, the year he was born? 1987 so still going strong all right I have also finished now I can't remember if I showed these last week is finished or not I honestly can't remember um but I did finish these these are for my oldest girl and she wanted to short little socks with one by one ribbing which is what I did a little uh, there uh, I did not follow any pattern and these were done on magic loop using needles that I got from Hobie. They were called Zings. Um, I wasn't overly thrilled with them. Um, I definitely prefer like Chai Gu or Haya Haya instead because the part where the needle joins, it wasn't as smooth as I wanted to be. Please. I'll show you. This is an example. This is not the needles that I'm talking about, but this part where the needle meets the cord, it wasn't super 
smooth and it kind of snagged a little bit. So I don't know if I'll use them again, but I did get these finished. And this was yarn that my girls had dyed themselves using Kool-Aid. And then I needed to get one more pair done, which I managed to do. And I ran out at the top, so I had to get some that I had dyed last year using Kool-Aid. So they both have cherry in them, uh, but this one has orange and this one has grape and pink lemonade. And don't mind my finger, I was careless with the kitchen knife and <laughs> sliced it open. So it's been making knitting tricky because I have to, usually I use my right finger to, I don't know if I can show this or not well, but it's hard to explain. Well, usually I use my right finger to, as a kind of like a guide and to push the needle back down through, which I can't do that. So now I have to knit with like using my middle finger, pushing the needle back down. It's a whole thing. I like my finger cramps up. Anyway, on to these. So this is the Autumn Acorns Magic Heel Sock, which I've modified down. Um, to fit my two-year-old and so yeah someone was outside the door setting a cup down <laughs> so that is those they are all set to be wrapped up and put under the tree all three of them know that they're getting them and have tried them on and uh Ooh, that took me down really low. There we go. I have also made progress on these socks. I think I was there last time and I have gotten all the way up to here. What are they doing outside that door? They're like moving stuff there. Go watch your movie. Hang on. <laughs> okay, back again. Uh, she brought my youngest one, she brought the bathroom block out so that she could stand on and try to open the door just to say abu which means love you um anyway back to these so this is yarn from mama jess knits it's called you're a mean one reminds me of the grinch pretty sure that's what she was going for so i was here last time so i've gotten up to here um i worked on it quite a bit last night my husband and I are watching the new uh, Beatles documentary on Disney and <laughs> loving it. And so I got some of this done last night. I could have gotten more, but a lot of times I had to read the subtitles because there's a lot of people talking over people sometimes. So I, I watch that a lot and instead of making my husband read it the entire time, which he would do. But he prefers not to and yeah mostly i'm i am able to knit without watching my knitting so i am able to watch the tv and read and knit at the same time um but i'm much slower at it so those are those they were supposed to be done today as part of the sock miss that is being hosted by knitting natty natalie over at knitting natty not happening I wish I could knit that fast, but too many other things were a priority. And here's the sweater. So I had a lot more of this done, about six more inches of it done. And then I realized I had done it wrong. And I, I wanna go back and comment on, I've. I've this is a Ravel, it's on Ravelry. This is the, um, it's a Lion Brand pattern. I'll have it linked down below. It's like the child's raglan sleeve pullover. And I had read it that you knit up to 13 inches and then cast off for the collar, but that was incorrect. Um, so I had to rip it back and then start over 
And now I'm just at the armholes again, and then I will get back up. So this is the front. And it doesn't take long to knit because you get like a quarter of an inch every time you go back and forth. So it's not going to take me long. And I keep saying that every time I show this stinking sweater, but it, I just really have to focus on it. And I just haven't had the mindset to really sit and focus on it. So yeah. Um, and I also, my acquisition, so there is a yarn store down in St. Johnsbury, Vermont, and it's called the Yarn Bank. The town is absolutely adorable. I didn't realize it, but Matt realized that we'd actually driven through it before when we were driving from New York to Maine. One time we took Route 2, which goes through that town. And we had been through there before and he's like oh yeah we've been here i know this place i'm like what and uh so there was a store down there called the yarn bank and we all went down last saturday and they i want to go back soon because they have yarn there from a, a local vermont dyer i didn't get that i got um a little skein of raglan raglan i think that's how you say it it's called like my first raglan it's like a baby skein um it was pinks and yellows sorry i left out in the kitchen um but then i also got this i saw this color and loved it so pretty i love all those colors um and it is a sock yarn however when I got home, I realized that it is only 100% superwash merino wool. It doesn't have any nylon in it. And if you're out there and you've ever used this before, if you can tell me how it worked out, because normally I go for yarns that have nylon in them, because I'm pretty rough on my socks. Like, not gonna lie, some of my hand knit socks have gone into the washer. I put them on the delicate cycle and they're in a garment bag, but I don't hand wash my socks normally. They just, they go in a garment bag, they go in the delicate cycle and then I lay them flat to dry. So I don't know if this is gonna stand up if I turn them into socks. So if you have ever used Malbrigo sock, let me know what you thought. Uh, and it does say it's machine washable with cold water on the gentle cycle. Um, but I don't know, I'm kind of worried that they just will get holy. I have another pair of socks. I meant to bring them down. They're my um, wool free socks from Premier. Uh, I just looked down on them. I was wearing them one day and I was like, man, my feet feel cold. And I lifted up my foot and there was a huge hole in on the on my foot. Not the ball of my foot, but next to it. And then one on the heel. I was like, well, that would explain it. And I looked on the other one and sure enough, that one had a hole in it too. So I'm pretty rough on my socks. But anyway, so if you have any experience with this, let me know. Um, and that, oh, that's not everything. I have one more project that I started that is going to take forever to work on. So I decided that I wanted to make a scrappy blanket. And this is all fingering weight yarn. This is definitely far from perfect. Um, I think I've messed up already because I think I started with 17 stitches on either side of the center stitch and now I'm doing 19 stitches on either side of the center stitch um and this is just a mitered square i do have a pattern i'm using i'll link it down below but i'm not i think i've looked at like a couple different um patterns and just kind of mushed them all together and, and youtube videos but it's just i'm just grabbing a skein of whatever whenever 
I'm not really going in a pattern or anything and, and color wise, um, but just kind of going for it. And you can see some of them are a little bit more stretchy than others. Okay, this one. Uh, so this is definitely something that will come out every now and then I'll show you if I've made any significant progress on it. Um, but so far it's just, just these ones. And I've made socks out of all of these. Um, so it'll be nice to kind of have a blanket and know what I use them on and who got what out of each yarn. But anyway, so there's that. And I think that's all I have to show this week. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you had a good week. Um, if you are new here, I hope you're enjoying it. Um, I do recommend hitting the notification bell if you can, because while I try to sit down and, and do a podcast once a week, it doesn't always happen and it doesn't always happen on the same day. I wish it did. That's just not where I am in my life right now. And I have to accept that. Uh, but um, also, if you are watching this and you're not subscribed, subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, you can also find me on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Oh, my goodness. You can also find me on social media. I will have everything linked down below. Uh, it may take me a little bit to get links put up uh, because I had to get my computer going. I haven't started it since we moved. Um, but I have, I'm on... Um, Instagram. Wow, that didn't want to come out. Instagram at North Country Knitter. I'm also on Facebook and I have my email down below. You can also find me on Etsy. I do sell some of my finished objects and yeah, all down below. All right, everybody. I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I will see you again shortly. I don't know what next schedule, next week's schedule is going to be uh, because it is Christmas week and we still have a lot of stuff to do for Christmas. We don't even have our tree up yet, which is really bothering me because it's the 17th and we don't have our Christmas tree up and I don't like that. <laughs> um, and I still have to mail out all my Christmas cards. There's a lot of stuff that still has to be done for Christmas. And I kept thinking we have time, we have time, we have time. And so did my husband. And now it's like, Oh, we don't have any more time. So we're going to see what happened next week. I feel like it's going to be pretty busy. Um, and we just found out the preschool's having like holiday spirit week and they're getting out early on Wednesday, which they were supposed to have a full day. <laughs> so it's like, ah, I thought I had more time and I don't, but that's the holidays. Plus this year I've decided Let's actually do a holiday meal. I'll cook a holiday meal because we didn't get a Thanksgiving dinner. What am I thinking? Anyway, if you're still here, wow, thank you. <laughs> I just kind of like shared all my stresses with you. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you have a good week and I will talk to you again soon. I don't know when, hopefully before Christmas, December 25th, hopefully before the 24th. I don't know. Maybe I could sit down and do something on the 24th Christmas Eve, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Thanks everybody for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.